Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we have the update live and today we want to spend some gems and discover everything which is new in this update. Because the last time we had an update, you guys remember there was the waterfall coming back, even though it was out in the sneak peeks. And we have something similar today as well with something not being in the sneak peeks, but is like this is going to be in the update. And you can see it already. A lot of YouTubers were allowed to do like small sneak peeks and everything, but today we can actually discover the change scenery button and what exactly it does. You can get those sceneries, like you can just select them with those different offers in the shop. So you have to buy those if you want to have them. I will show exactly on how it looks like, but if you want to buy any of those offers, um, make sure to use any creator code, whatever creator you want to support. If it's me, if it's my channel and you guys like what I'm doing over here and you want to support me, there's an easy way. Just get in your settings, more settings and at the bottom type in the creator code. So for now, let's try it out. Let's see what exactly is new. And you can see the scenery of the village is changing. So that's pretty cool. And I feel like it's getting like you have way more villages out there, uh, like small buildings and everything. The dock obviously changed and to be honest, I think there are so many cool details, especially like, for example, if we are zooming in at some point um, and check out what exactly there is, you can see those blueprints from the builder base. You can see the queen is getting completely like built up or like getting destroyed. I don't know, either way. And there's so, so many small Easter eggs in this. Uh, it's really cool. But at the same time, I don't really know if it's that fitting for Clash of Clans, at least this scenery. I like the idea of the different skins. But I would like to see, I don't know, maybe it's once again just me, but like uh, a desert, a jungle maybe, volcan maybe, like lava and everything. That would be so cool. So I think this new feature is opening up to a lot of more possibilities. But at the same time, you have to say it's kind of useless. It's just for the eyes and that's it. So I'm excited for what is coming next uh, on this part. But now let's get into the, into the fun one. Let's get into... The description of this video, let's get into the title, let's get into the thumbnail of this video and the main uh, message of this video because we want to get some gems to max our, out our village. And now you guys might wonder, Itsu, what are you talking about? I'm talking about this. And if you guys are now like, Itsu, this can't be true. Like, why the heck are you getting so many gems? And the reason behind that is why every player who is going to play in the first qualifier, because as you guys might know, the next weekend there's going to be the first official Clash Worlds 2020 qualifier. And since this update is like four or five days away of this date, Supercell decided, okay, let's not make this update a pay to win competition on this weekend. Let's support the players because like I said, there are only four to five days to basically max your village and try everything in um, the new update. Like you have to discover so many things like new troops, new um, defenses um, level and the new, there are so many new features in the game like with the zaps and everything that is really hard to keep track of everything. And if you have to farm, if you have to like max your village at the same time, try to fix your bases, which you have built over a month for this first qualifier, that's pretty tough. So that's why Supercell decided, okay, let's support those players a little bit to just not make it that um, pay to win. And at the same time, let's keep the competition high. So what we're doing now is let's try to use those gems, which we got, try to make sure we're getting those this village close to max. And one thing which I always highlighted and I won't do it with this gems either, I will never buy resources in, th in this game with gems. I feel like that's super useless. I feel like... That's such a waste of gems. Um, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like if you want to max your village, you need to farm for it. Obviously, you can, like, jam the time and the cooldown and everything. But jamming resources, I feel like that's... I would feel kind of dirty for that. So that's why I'm not... Like, that's why I won't do it. So we try to just, like, get as many things out of the gold pass and out of everything which we have right now access to to get our things close to max and I think we will get pretty far. And then if you guys are wondering, yes, I will do once again streams on how I farm those troops to max because as you guys might already think and already know after what I said just a second ago, we won't be completely maxed after this video. We still have, we will still have a lot of things to farm 
And uh, well, if you want to be a journey, like part of this journey, make sure to follow um, the stream. And now you guys might wonder, Itsu, there was just a loot card, which you showed with 16 million each and a lot of Dark Elixir as well. Why exactly do you, do, uh, do you have that? And maybe you guys know. The reason I just showed that to you guys is because my attack lock is pretty old. Like my last attack was nearly 20 days ago. So if you're not on Legend and if you're somewhere in Titan and if you not, haven't collected your um, resources in a really long time, then you get this go like get, get this loot card. And since the new, new since the new loot card is stacking up over time, Wayne may like to a crazy amount of loot. That's why I had this big loot card. So now, now we have to do the first bad thing, and now we have to spend the first amount of gems because we do not want to use the book of fighting on this baby dragon. Close your eyes <laughs> and, it, and it's max. So we have the Battle Dragon max, which is nice. Now let's get into the Dark Elixir troops because we have to make so many, like so many comparing for the time we have. We have to make quite a lot of hero levels. And um, this is why we're using the hammer over here. So we do not have to invest the, the uh, Dark Elixir into this. And we can obviously just once again, get our hammers back, which we just used because we have quite some leak metals, which is nice. And then in the end, I will most likely, um, I, I don't think I will do this in this video, but we'll most likely finish up using my leak metals for resources to make my defenses faster. Guys, do not do this on your own. Like this is completely stupid. Do not use leak metals for maxing your defenses. I'm only doing that because um, I need to be maxed for the next weekend. That's it. That's all what counts right now. And if you're earlier maxed, like obviously you guys could argue, it's a, you have four days to be maxed. Yes, I know, but you need to be maxed as fast as possible so you can test your new bases. Like, is this new base defending with the max defenses? Or maybe if you haven't maxed your defenses just yet and you're getting the base tripled and it's really close and you want to know if it's getting tripled with max defenses as well? Well, you never know. That's why you need to, like, that's why we as one of the uh, players, or a couple of the players which qualified for the first qualifier of Clash Worlds, we need to max our villages as fast as possible. This is why a lot of players, for example, Boom as well, dropped out of Legend League just to farm really quick. And yeah, that's for example the reason why he's right not not in the top uh, three in Germany. If you guys were wondering, uh, I think that's okay if I say it like this. So yeah, we collected way more loot from our loot card and everything. Now we need to upgrade the Dark Barracks to unlock the Headhunter. That's something which we have to do once again. And once again, we have to do it with gems because I do not want to spend the Book of Buildings. I want to spend the Book of Buildings on the Wizard Towers and the Cannons because they are way more worth it because of the time which we can spend, like can get rid of kinda. So now we have to keep going. We have a little bit of gold still to spend. Um, and then obviously we still need to do some more stuff. We are really close to being able to upgrade the Headhunter. So maybe we should just do an attack in a second. We'll do a drag zap, drag zap attack. I think that's just super cool to farming, especially, especially right now because one of the cool things is that you do not waste any gold or dark elixir. You just have to invest elixir into this army and that's it. And since this update is not really costing that much elixir, except like the walls, for example, but except that like it's not costing that much elixir. So you can be like pretty elixir heavy on the, on the uh, army front. So. Let's take this army into war, oh, like into, into um, farming. I hope the clouds are not too bad. You're right now on Titans as you guys see it. So let's see what we can find. I won't wait too long. Normally you can wait like down here for, for something which is like over 800,000 each and things like that. We would just like go with something where you have like decent loot. I think that one is pretty okay. Um, and now one thing which is kind of nice on this base as well, we can use the zaps perfectly because the air defense and the super is right close next to each other. One thing which we have to, to be honest, I have no clue how many zaps we need for, uh, for a scatter shot. To be honest, like I didn't really had time to like test all of those things just yet because as soon as the update came out, I just uh, recorded this video for you guys. So let's try it out. We have five zaps. Three will be enough to take down the sweeper and the air defense, and then let just throw two more onto the scatter shot and let's see what has happened. Okay, that's not. Okay, that's not working. Okay, that's kind of unfortunate. Either way, now let's just get started. I will go in from the top side because the sweeper, the other one is 
uh, point towards the bottom. Maybe I should have turned this around. Either way, let's just try it. I think the village is not that max, so we should at least get off the loot. That's like the main thing. Triple, I don't care. Loot is all what matters. So that we can't, we want to get all of the loot. That's the first thing we want to go for. Um, so far, so good. I have tons of sweats. I don't know why I'm not using them, but still, we can use a couple of more things. And then the dragons are getting into everything. Royal Chamber on the left side. Queen is in, is in danger. Uh, it's not in danger. She's fine. Uh, there are a couple of more loons coming out, but we passed the 50% mark, which means now the enemy town hall is like being really annoying on our dragons. And well, we have another freeze over here. We can use it somewhere. We have the Royal Champion still trying to be useful at the bottom. I don't think that this is going to be a triple, but as long as we're getting both of these storages on the right and on the left with the gold storage, then we're fine. Then we got everything we wanted, we came for, because like we do not want to get trophies. Like we want to stay on the trophy amount we have right now. So there's no reason to push. That's obviously just a bad execute excuse of this shitty attack. But I mean, either way, <laughs> I don't care. Um, okay, left storage is falling down. Right storage should go down as well. Like there's no air defense left anymore. So the gold storage should go down. And this means we have all of the loot from this base. It was not pretty, but it was rare, I guess. So yeah, this was <laughs> the first. Drag Zabate from here on the live service. Yikes. <laughs> now went the best way. But either way, we've got the resources. That's all what matters at this point. So let's try to check if we can upgrade something over here. Um obviously I have boosted my um my, my resource collectors. I can't rebuild the arm because we had to use super ball breakers. But so let's double check if we can do anything more. We still have a couple of more gold things in the the loot card, so we can upgrade more wizard towers, which is nice. We can upgrade those with the book of building. That's nice for us. So we have already, I think, three maxed. No, we we can actually actually max one more, right? This should be working. Um, this enough. I think we have something more in the gold pass. I think we have some more gold in the gold pass, so we should be able to max another wizard tower, which means I think we're close to maxing all of the wizard towers right away, which is nice. So yeah, I think with this golden elixir, we should we should be fine. Yeah, there there it is, the last wizard tower. And actually, there's one wizard tower under construction. I think we can match that one as well because we have we have the books of building at the moment, so we do not have to spend any of the gems, which is nice. Um, so yeah, there's one more book of buildings in our shop, which we will buy for sure because that's way cheaper than jamming an entire building. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of it, I guess. But do we have to do anything more in the laboratory? I no, I think we wanted to go for the uh, headhunter for the first couple of levels, no? Yeah, I think we need a couple of more resources. And I think with all of the resources we just collected, we should be able to upgrade. Yeah, we should be able to upgrade the headhunter, which is nice. So we can max this bad boy. I think we use the resources. And then after that, we are going to use the hammer. I think that's the most efficient way. Um, now, obviously, it's the question, should we use the book or gem? I think we will go with the books. Uh, the only thing which are important kind of after that are going to be the siege machines. That's kind of the only thing which is kind of nice to have um, to switch around to have those mechs. But like the goal is not that worth it. The clone spell is not that important. So that's kind of it. I think at least upgrade wise from troops and spells we are fine for now. So it's all about uh, having the cannons maxed and the heroes and then obviously like wards are pretty nice to have but they're not as important as like the defense and everything so yeah that's basically it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it we haven't spent too many gems but a couple of them i think we have spent any resources which we just had in our treasury and everywhere so yeah that's it guys please don't hate me too much uh with having so many gem like free gems in that way um it wasn't that easy to qualify for the first qualifier and to be honest like, it's not that easy. Like, it's it's just like a kind of weird story from Supercell because you guys, all of you guys want to have new content, so they have to drop the update at some point. But having the update dropped on like four or five days in front of the qualifier is pretty stressful for us as, as players are playing in there. So the 20k gems were helping or are helping, as you guys can see. We will try to make the village even more today in today's evening stream. But right, guys, that was everything for it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't hate me too much. And I will see you guys in the next one tomorrow. See you guys. Until then. And bye bye.